so I don't know why more people don't talk about Revenge of the Sith as the perfect way to end a trilogy of movies because it's awesome <laughs> um two things real quick Yoda versus Darth Sidious is amazing I didn't know how much I wanted something until I rewatched it for the first time today. <laughs> um, Anakin versus Obi Wan might be my favorite lightsaber duel. I mean, the music is just incredible, as usual for a Star Wars movie. The music's always incredible. Um. I like the Order 66 music that they play, you know, uh, a lot too. Hmm. That, alright, that opening shot of Anakin and Obi-Wan's ships flying into the battlefield, well, the space battle above Coruscant, perfect way to start a movie, especially a Star Wars movie. Um, dialogue is definitely an upgrade from Attack of the Clones. Even the romantic dialogue I found better in this one. Um, Palpatine is great as usual. I don't like he's given a bad performance in any of these movies. Um, Sort of like showing his rise to power finally being accomplished was really interesting to see. The opera house scene where he says, Did you ever hear the tragedy of Dark Place the Wise? Come to think of that, that should have been a big hint for Anakin. Wait, how does this Chancellor, who's been a politician his entire life, know the story of a dark lord and I don't. Hmm. <clears throat> anyway, um. And his desire to save Padme from death makes sense for his being a reason for his turn to the dark side. It's not the only reason. I don't like that people for years and years have been saying he became evil for love, and so that's not the only reason. Um, it's like people completely forget his mother's death and his massacre of the Sand People, and the fact that, you know, no Jedi has ever sat on the council without having the rank of master. It was like the Jedi Council just wanted Anakin to turn to the dark side. Um, or, here's an idea, maybe it was part of that Chosen One prophecy that the Jedi Order would be destroyed so it could be rebuilt after the Sith were gone. Um, but I'll let theory channels unravel that. Um, I've covered a great deal of things. Um, making Anakin a spy, having him spy on the Jedi server is kind of like, um, are, are Jedi supposed to do that? I don't remember that from any of the video games. Let's see, um, anything else that I can't think of? There's just so much good in this movie. The battles will be clones versus droids or Jedi versus Siths were amazing. And against the feet of Count Dooku was somehow extremely satisfying. Right? I don't know why. And you, the core choreography for these fight scenes is, for these lightsaber duels, is definitely next level tier stuff. Um. I I can't find any 
I can't remember. I just watched this movie, but I can't remember anything to complain about. Hmm. <clears throat> I guess that, you know, that's because it's a good movie. Um, uh, lifesaver duels, battles. Oh, the answer to Order 66 scene was... Everything I expected it to be. <laughs> the fall of the Jedi Order, you know. I kind of would have liked to see more of Anakin in the Jedi Temple, but I think, you know, the whole scene where he lights his lightsaber up and he's going to kill the younglings is, um, pretty dark. <laughs> Probably would have gotten R rating if they showed everything he did in the Jedi Temple. <laughs> um... I did not like Padme's death scene. You know, the whole she lost the will to live, and I was like, eh, that's that's kind of cheesy. Um, the Darth Vader suit being put on, the metal legs and stuff like that. I love that scene. That music in that scene is gorgeous. Oh, it was so, like, mind-blowing when you hear the voice of Darth Vader for the first time in these prequels. It's like, Lord Vader, can you hear me? And he's like, does the yes, master, and James Earl Jones' voice, which I'm not even going to attempt to uh, impersonate. Um, this is all around a great, solid movie. There's not too many bad parts. At least none that I can think of off the top of my head. Um, yeah. Um, I can see, I'll give it a 9 out of 10. Thumbs up. It's a good movie. Great, even. In the perfect way to end a trilogy and more people need to discuss that it is a perfect way to end a trilogy of movies. Oh anyway that's a review and this was a short one. Um yeah so thanks for watching when you do. Subscribe if you want and make sure to give yourselves a big thumbs up.